Hey, so today I want to talk about hand sanitizer, specifically the active ingredient, denatured alcohol. So if you have never stopped to think about what denatured alcohol is, this video is for you. Denatured alcohol is simply ethanol that has something added to it to make it undrinkable. Does that mean that people don't drink it? No. And that's a whole different issue. People still drink it, but they just get really sick from it. Nevertheless, this is a rule that FDA put in place to distinguish ethanol that's used in drinks, such as vodka, beer, and wine, from ethanol used in personal care products like hand sanitizer. So let's look at the denaturing process. To make denatured alcohol, you take ethanol that is pure enough to meet USP purity guidelines. You add any of these things to make it taste bad and or make you vomit. Denatonium benzoate, tert butyl alcohol, sucrose, octaacetate, isopropyl alcohol, and triethyl citrate. So those are all things that FDA lists as commonly used to denature ethanol to make denatured alcohol. So I did a quick scan of the material safety data sheets. That's the MSDS. You can certainly go look those up on your own. I did a quick scan of the MSDSs for these denaturing chemicals and found these precautions. So harmful if swallowed, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye damage, fatal if inhaled, do not breathe, wash hands thoroughly after applying. Prolonged and or repeated contact may cause defatting of the skin and dermatitis, may cause liver and kidney damage, may cause central nervous system depression, characterized by excitement, followed by headache, dizziness, drowsiness, and nausea. And I'm not going to go on because you get the idea, but this is nasty stuff. It can be very, very nasty, and they're adding it to the alcohol that is the main active ingredient in hand sanitizer. So the FDA had this long-standing guidance that said denatured alcohol had to meet either USP or FCC quality standards for purity, meaning that certain contaminants could absolutely not be present because they can harm the human body in a variety of ways. Manufacturers who make fuel grade and technical grade ethanol were not allowed to make denatured alcohol for hand sanitizer at all because things like acid aldehyde, a known genotoxic carcinogen, were present. Now, you might think, Ethanol is ethanol, but the truth is it matters where you make it, it matters the type of equipment used, the cleanliness of the equipment, and the facility, and the other things that are made in that same facility. So all those factors can have an impact on the purity of the final product. So this is why I find it really unfortunate for the public that the FDA issued a temporary guidance relaxing these contaminant rules on March 25th, 2020. It was updated in April, and it was all due to the shortage in alcohol-based hand sanitizers for COVID-19. And they have allowed fuel-grade and technical-grade ethanol manufacturers to make denatured alcohol for hand sanitizer. They still say that no gasoline contaminants can be present in the ethanol, which is a good thing. However, they have relaxed the rules on other contaminants and are now allowing up to 630 parts per million of methanol, which is shown to cause blindness and even death, two parts per million of benzene, a known carcinogen, 50 ppm of acid aldehyde, which is that carcinogen, and the sum of other impurities is kept at 300 parts per million. And yes, the FDA does own up to the fact that they are allowing a known genotoxic carcinogen to enter the market for an indefinite amount of time just to get more hand sanitizer out there. So do you know where your hand sanitizer was made? Do you know where that denatured alcohol came from? I would guess that 99% of the population does not know and that really scares me. Hand sanitizer is about to become a staple in every kid's desk at school, every kid's backpack. They are going to be licking their hands. They're going to be eating right after it's applied. They're going to be rubbing their eyes, getting this stuff right into their delicate body tissues. And if you have been watching the FDA news, you know that massive amounts of hand sanitizer are currently being recalled because after sale testing was done and the FDA discovered that several companies have far exceeded the allowable amount of methanol levels in their hand sanitizer. And all of this came about because they were seeing a spike in cases of temporary vision impairment, dizziness, fainting permanent blindness, and even death after people had used lots of this hand sanitizer. I encourage you to look up the sanitizers in question and take immediate action to get them out of your house. So this is why it's important to get your hand sanitizer from a source you know and can trust. I personally only buy my hand sanitizer from Young Living because I know that the ethanol has been responsibly distilled in a pristine facility that meets USP purity standards, that their alcohol is denatured using peppermint essential oil and not any of those harsh chemicals. Their hand sanitizer does not contain any artificial fragrance, which is a catch-all term that manufacturers use to hide hundreds of harmful chemicals, and their hand sanitizer is enhanced 
with Thieves Essential Oil, which smells fantastic. This hand sanitizer has also been proven to kill 99.99% of the pathogens that it comes in contact with, so you can use it with confidence. You should be using this and not any of that junk that you find like at the dollar store or anything like that. If it's cheap hand sanitizer that you just can find anywhere, it's likely that the denatured alcohol is not from a great source. And so I just encourage you to look into it and know where your stuff comes from, especially since it's going to be so important for our kids coming up here really, really soon. All right, guys, have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this type of information and if you want to see more of it in the future.